Is is that it up there? Is is this it? I I don't know, man. We're just gonna have to find out. Whoa! Holy shit, dude! Full on sucking his dick. I've always wanted to see a street blowjob. Shut up, people. Where are you? It would it, it would have, have have to be in not that low. Sorry, Bella Thorne. She is the mistake. Pew 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 pew. pew. Get this to Bella Thorne. <laughs> it's how did you take three dicks? You know how my dick's flappy and loose? Have you had enough? Why am I friends with you? Don't fight, guys. There's a type of sex called water sport. I think we, we, we're starting to figure to finger it out now. Yeah, for yeah, sure. I'm like, you know, I'm fingering it out. It's like... <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> <laughs> the whole fist up in there. All right. <laughs> what I said before we started recording was weird. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I've heard you say fingering it out before, and I, I get that. Like that's funny on it. You didn't need to like finger it. Like, come on. That was so much right visual, at the top. Visual representation of what I was talking about, okay? I had yeah. to get it out there, all right? Do the new YouTube rules are that you're not allowed to cuss within the first 30 seconds of the video, and I don't know if I've already done that or not. Wait, really? Yeah. What? Yeah, they demonetize it if you cuss within the first 30 seconds. I mean... <laughs> Has it been 30 seconds yet? I don't know. Oh, it's past a minute. We're good. Fuck. <laughs> um, um, shit. Yeah. Um, Balls. That's not a cuss. Damn. Screw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The 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 big fish <laughs> movie. Yeah. When the when the chick is when they're going up to the house and the chick is like, "Watch your language." There's a lady present, and then they're like, "Shit, fuck, screw." And I was like, "What? How is bless you? How is screw a curse word to y'all? Like screw you type shit?" In some circles, yeah. I could see how, like, people, I mean, if you say screw you, some people might be offended by it, you know? What What does that mean, though? What does screw you mean? It's just a lighter version of fuck you, right? Like, I, yeah. I, I mean, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All um, right, we did it. We're here. We're, <laughs> we, we fingered it we out. We fingered it out. And welcome to Blue Skies from the Basement. My name is Austin. Joining me as fucking always, my best friend, the savage dad, him fucking self, Wes. What's up? And joining us mm, over there is my beautiful, beautiful wife, Honesty. <laughs> Hello. So, um, I wanted to tell you just real quick. Yeah. What I saw downtown. Oh, yeah. When we were scooting around. Let's do this. So we were like in front of Kosai, like the um, the trail that's like in front of Kosai. And if you're going down like like Broad Street towards Kosai, mm-hmm. like you know how it kind of goes off to the right, yeah. and there's like some benches and shit down there. Well, I'm in front of my two buddies, just like fucking scooting, and then I look up and see this chick sitting on a bench and a dude standing in front of her, and she is. Sucking his dick. Oh shit! <laughs> See, you set a chick on a bench, and I have a story for you, but it's not quite that intense. <laughs> no, she was full on sucking his dick, and then I... s- looked up, saw me, and shoved it back into his pants, and I just kept going. Wait, she shoved hard dick back into his pants? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> have yeah. you ever just okay? So when you're done having sex and you still have the boner, and you put your pants back on, or when you're done masturbating and you put everything back together. That's what I call it. Putting yeah. everything back together. Um, like Legos. Um, so, this goes here and that goes there. You get it. Um, <laughs> so when you put everything, it's t- a tight fit because you have a bone air. Yeah. And yeah. So <laughs> just pushing it back into the pant, that seems like violence to me. I mean, also, she kept it in her hand and like, like went in. Like, okay. So she did the full like bend down and touch. Yeah. 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 But it was definitely a sight to see. Like, like I'm jealous. I've always wanted to see a street blowjob. Mm, no, no, you don't. No, I, I'm, I think I saw one when I was young, when I was out in California with my mom, because she liked to go to like Compton and Skid Row and stuff, or like she would, uh, we'd go to the southern part of California and cross over to Tijuana. But I'd never go over to Tijuana with her because I was too young to cross the border. Um, 
Well, I could probably, she just didn't want me to go because they were getting fucked up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what that was. I, re- I just realized my mom lied to me. That's another one. Another one. <laughs> uh, boop. My mom's like DJ Khaled, but with lies. <laughs> another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> always wanted to see that. No, you don't. You don't want to see it. It's just not. I'm sure I don't want to see it, but I want to have that to be like a story that I can tell. <laughs> you know? Yeah, now you're telling the story. And now every time I go by, every time I go by that that area, I'm gonna look at that bench and just be like, mm, "Yep, <laughs> there's a part of my life I can't get back." What shitty shitty things always happen on benches downtown? So Crystal and I were downtown today, and we went by like a Front Street and the the fucking river and all that stuff. And uh, as we're walk, we decided to do the the walkway. Uh, the side of walkway. Um, and as we're walking up there, there's like the, where the swing benches are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we go past the first swing bench. And as we're passing the second one, there's a lady sitting on like the, the fountains. They're not turned on right now because COVID. Um, and she's just sitting there. And as we're walking by, she yells at us, hey, you got papers. And yes, that's her voice. <laughs> I've been smoking for 55 years. Yes, yes. <laughs> you got any papers? Hey, you got papers? And I'm like, I'm not on me? Like, why would I have papers on? Not every. <laughs> Be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, what kind of papers is she asking for you? Smoke papers, I would assume? Yeah, smoke papers. Or do so... you have like your green card or like, <laughs> like, what is she asking you right now? Peppers, please. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, <laughs> Crystal and I are walking by, and Crystal looks over. So I look. I was like trying to ignore her because I saw her as we're walking up. And like, you don't make eye contact; they don't talk. But this is one of the ones that talks to you even if you don't look at them. Yep. So walking by, do you got papers? No, I don't have any on me. And then I look at her, and she's rolling a joint on the fucking bench on Front Street with like cops everywhere because the Proud Boys are downtown. Yeah. And uh, with Bible paper, so like. The, the fucking next little planter thing over. There's a ripped up Bible next to her. No shit. And I was like, it doesn't look like you need papers. Use the blank pages. And she's like, I ripped out the front pages. <laughs> I was like, okay, you got it covered. Why do you need me? Like, Because well, maybe you had some legit papers. Maybe, but she's, I mean, she's obviously a savage if she's smoking a joint out of Bible papers sitting next to her. You know, that was one thing I never did. Plain day downtown with cops literally like behind her. Like... Ten years of smoking weed and I never fucking used a Bible page. I've done it. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have to buy like a specific Bible or is it just any fucking No, page? it just sucks. It sucks. Hard. Oh. Yeah. Because it's, it's just thin paper. It's not like as thin as joint paper and it tastes terrible. Oh. Yeah. I would say it's probably just like the principle of the thing. Like, oh, yeah, I'm smoking for the Bible. Like, fuck it. Like... I yeah. was just seeing if I could roll Bible paper and then when I was done, I was like, well, I guess I gotta smoke it. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, all my family. Do you guys remember all my family? No. Oh, okay. Next topic. Um. So, we took a break last weekend. Yes, Because we did. me and my wife went to Philadelphia to go see the front bottoms. And... Oh, it was all my children. Sorry. All my children. <laughs> I know what you're talking about then. That's yeah. what I was thinking. I was like, I think it might be all my children, but it must be a different show. And I just like, I've never heard of that one. She just assume I'm wrong most times. <laughs> <laughs> so on our way there, we stop in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And got some food at this place. I don't remember what it was called. Mm. But um, our server dude was cool. And he was like, we he just made like small talk and was talking about like him playing guitar or being in a band or something like that. So immediately I was like, Yo, what up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's your band name? Like, let me know. Went and followed him on Instagram and was like, hit him up, you know, with the. I think I hit him up on my personal one, but I might hit him up on the podcast one and be like, hey, what up? You know, like, you guys ever come back to Ohio, let me know. We'll do a fucking episode, you know, shout you out on the podcast and shit like that. Yeah. So, and I don't know if I showed you or told you about him. Um, I think you told me about him, but I, I don't, I didn't see any of the, I think it's called their, it's cave paint. Oh, is their I did see they followed yeah. us back. Yeah. And I, yeah. I didn't know who that was. I just assumed somebody randomly found us. No, 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 no. The, the guitarist for that, um, fuck, what's his name? 
I don't know. I had a really good beer at that restaurant, though. Yeah, they did have some. They're number one for craft beers, I believe, in okay. all of Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. Pennsylvania is so, dope for alcohol. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. But I had a raspberry watermelon beer, mm-hmm. and it was fucking good. And it was in one of those fancy cups, like the glasses that, like, I don't know. I've never had a beer in, like, one of those before, so yeah. it was awesome. I had some some Bula bourbon. I yeah. had, like, two... Two Excuse double me, shots. Sir, you mean boulier. <laughs> boulier. <laughs> had some boulier bourbon. Yeah. Uh, had two double shots of that. Yeah. So I was definitely feeling good by the time that we left there. And uh, so, yeah, talking to that dude was cool. We get to the hotel and, like, I walk in and it's, like, like a extended stay room. So, like... Super nice. We got our yeah. own small little kitchen. Like the pictures you sent, I was like, "Hey, that was like what we got when we did our hotel stay, just missing the fucking whirlpool tub." Yeah, yeah. yeah we just had a stand up. That would have been nice though. But if we ever travel anywhere, we got to get a room like that. Dude. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck yeah, dude. That'd be awesome. Even if we stay for a night, I'm like, that's that's. I'm not going anything less. Well, Having the full size fridge was honestly what made it worth it to me to have the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. You mentioned traveling for guests, and I thought that was a good idea, too. Like, eventually, if there's somebody that's out of state or if we need to, like, be out of the house to, to meet these people, that yeah. that's a good idea for the podcast. We could eventually have bigger guests on that way. Yeah. And there are people that I've talked to in the past, like uh, Gage Smith, for one, who I think is out of state. But if he comes back into town, I'll hit him up and have him on. But he's a he's a sponsored skater that fucking shreds that I've looked up to for a long time. Fuck yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, yeah, we could just get, like, a hotel here and mm-hmm. do that shit, too, like, yeah, be super easy, and... A lot of podcasts that I listen to do that. They'll mm-hmm. travel and do shows from a hotel room. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. You'd have to go outside to smoke, though. Yeah, yeah. You know? Or we could just go to a legal state, get a 420-friendly hotel room, No, we don't. I mean, yeah. true, but that's if they're in that state. I mean, we're traveling to them, so it all depends on, like... Maybe we'll meet them halfway. Maybe. Who knows? So, Philadelphia was cool. Like I told you before, the homeless problem in Philadelphia is way fucking worse than it is in Columbus. Like, yeah. I thought it was bad in Columbus, and then you go to Philadelphia, and you're like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. Like, downtown Philly is, like, fucked, dude, in some areas. Like, yeah, it's crazy. I get it now. Like I, I mean, I've never been to Philly. You know, you hear stories about Philly, but like I get it now. But uh, Gino's was fucking super delicious. It was awesome. Like I got the cheese whiz. Everybody else, <laughs> fuck your. Why do you stupid... tell everybody? He's like, I made the good decision. Everybody else regretted their provolone. Um, it's fine. Yeah, Aww. they did though. Everybody was like, oh, we should have got that one. I was like, that's why I got it. I hate provolone. Me too. Yeah, yeah. But the cheese whiz was like. They're nacho cheese. Yeah. Like, that's so same delicious. cheese they put on the cheese fries. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was that's fu- amazing. Fucking delicious, dude. And yeah. like, it's like dripping out. And I'm just like, you know, <laughs> dipping part of my sandwich into that and eating that. I was like, oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was so fucking good. Um, yeah, you sent me a picture and I was like, damn, I want to go there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure Geno's is like the number one place in yeah. Philadelphia to get a fucking. It's, it's, I don't know if it's number one or I think it probably is, but then like it's got a big rival as well. Oh yeah, that's like across the street. There's mm-hmm. always those debates with all like it, there's always the two places in whatever city it is that does the best slice of pizza mm-hmm. or the best sandwich that you're gonna get in town. Like yeah. yeah, well there was a line like around the building at Gino's, and the one that was on the other side didn't have a line that was that long. So I was like, this must be the spot. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, they had like photos and shit up on the top. And, like, kind of on the side of, like, all the celebrities and shit that have, like, been there and stuff like that. Like, it, it was fucking cool, man. Mike Tyson's been there. And the line, like, it was a long line. It did wrap around the building. They know how to deal with that kind of thing at this point, though. Like, it's obvious. Like, it didn't take us that no. long. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, an hour wait. Mm-hmm. And it was 30 I would, minutes. I would say that we were, the whole time that we were there was probably, like, 45 minutes yeah. to, like, and, an hour, yeah, if yeah. that. Yeah, so... And we, I mean, sat and ate for a minute, and it was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's dope. I definitely enjoyed it. It was great. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, when you sent me the picture and you were like, I'm going to be standing in this line for an hour and a half, I was like, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were, but it moved pretty quick. Because they, they do the main order at one window, and then if you want like fries and a drink, you go to the next window. Yeah. And then you order it then and wait for it there. Yeah. So like people that are just going there to get the sandwich, like you can basically kind of get in and get out. And then if you want the fries and, like, a drink and stuff, then you go down to the next window. And that window moves pretty fucking quickly, too. So They're just making sandwiches, too. Like, it doesn't take that long. Right. Yeah. It's not like a fucking 20-pay mm-hmm. or 20-item menu that all different shit, fish, you know, and fucking meat and steaks. And then you got appetizers and everything else. It's like, no, we throw some meat on bread and put some sauces and yeah. onions on it. And there like, you fucking go. Onions are no. And, like, that's that's that's... You tell them. I yeah. like that. Yeah, you're, I was like, I want a cheese whiz and a provolone. He was like, onions on that? I was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. The fuck you mean onions on that? <laughs> <laughs> Rhetorical. <laughs> you should make people tell you if they don't want the onions on there. That's like when people are like, do you want sweet or unsweet tea? And I'm like, unsweet tea is just tea. You didn't take the sweet out of the fucking tea, you jackass. I never like, thought about it like that. <laughs> you didn't unsweeten I- the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want tea or sweet tea? Exactly. Okay. I Why see are you putting extra letters on that bullshit? I see what you're saying. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, whole extra vowel sound. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, people. <laughs> <laughs> so the the concert was awesome. It was cool. I already told you what I didn't like about it. Yeah. The, it, it just the off time drumming because of the 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 fucking double audio thing happening well because they didn't have any audio from the stage yeah it was only from the cars yeah so like if you like with us just the people next to us had their car playing the music we had ours playing it but wasn't the best speakers and like her back speakers don't work either so it was kind of quiet like you couldn't really hear it from the back of the truck both the people in front of us and beside us didn't have their music on or loud enough for us to hear it yeah so like we're sitting in the back of the truck and I can hear the song to my left, but then I'll hear the, the drum set like a half beat late because it, the sound from the, from him hitting the cymbals or him hitting the snare and then traveling all the way to me yeah. is like a half beat, like fucking late. And it annoyed the absolute shit out of me the whole time. <laughs> like I was just like, I'm just going to get drunk until I don't realize it anymore. Like, but he did. Yeah, and I, yes, happened. I did. I did get pretty drunk. Woke up hungover the next morning. Dope. And then fucking drove eight hours, scrunched in the back of a 2005 fucking Ford F-150. That's an adventure, man. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Did I, you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I um, like got you know how they make like the mini bottles of wine, like the four pack. Yeah, those are so awesome. So I got that. The Sutter Homes ones. I think so. Yeah. I don't. I don't really I'm get such wine. An alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. He's like, that is what it is, though. The um, specific brand? I can't um, remember if it's fucking all my children or all all my family, but I know what I know what the tiny bottles of wine are. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're not supposed to have alcohol there, so uh, uh, well, everybody was drinking. Well, There's a bunch of white girls were, drinking yeah. white claws. You know, you know, the usual. Getting clobbered. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the claws so. of law. <laughs> So, yeah, so I had, like, my Starbucks cup from earlier, so I just put it in there, and I was just drinking my little Starbucks, Hell getting yeah. wine drunk at <laughs> the concert, and I had fun, and I was, like, wanting to dance, and nobody else was wanting to dance, and so I was, like, shaking the whole entire truck by dancing, and everybody was just <laughs> sitting there. At one point, um, like, the people we were with, like, they, they just laid down in the truck. I'm like, come on, guys. Like, it's a concert. I know we're in the truck. I get it. We put a blanket down, like dance with me like we have right. to it's a concert put some energy into it so it doesn't feel like this is a weird pandy concert mm-hmm. yeah pandy concert I- i'm super surprised that i haven't seen a meme made out of jim carrey from liar liar going <laughs> the claw! but then somebody like puts in you know a white claw a white claw <laughs> Well, it's because you haven't made it yet that so has to I-, be I need to make it like somebody's like hey man you know can i get a beer we need to make it before we release this episode. Yeah. Because somebody will make it. Well, I don't care. I don't need the fucking clout. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, okay. I just want to see it out there in yeah. the world, you know? But how, how would you do it, you know? Like, Talk about it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, like, uh, like, what would the video be? Like, what, do you, what leads up to him, like, jumping in and going, it's the claw. 
to set it up like a TikTok video where it's like a clip of a white chick saying some dumb shit about how she wants to get shit faced, and then there he is with the claw. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my hand! It's changing. It's turning into the claw. Oh. I mean, we we might have to workshop it a little. Yeah, <laughs> we'll figure it out. We got plenty of time. I think it's like um, like we should do like. Something like, like, what kind of beer do you have? And, like, the only thing I got is, it's the club. <laughs> yeah. Like, something like that. Something along those premises. Okay. Yeah. Somebody in the Discord server will do that. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we could find somebody. Yeah. For sure. Speaking of. <laughs> or, like, you know, like the, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> like, she's acting all, like, drunk. And it's like, no, it's the claw. <laughs> 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 that's a good idea too we could put like some drunk white chick like stumbling around and it's you want me like to do it? it's like maybe it's Maybelline and then it, and then Jim Carrey comes in and goes it's the claw <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, speaking of discord I have a job to do ooh so one of the topics I wanted to cover before we get into our ridiculous giant tiktok block <laughs> is uh, Courtesy of me and my wife hey can I hit you with my TikTok cock and the TikTok block? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a SoundCloud rapper now. I don't know if you guys knew this. Uh, did you see my post in the the, the Discord where it's like, "This my alt, this my main. <laughs> check out my hair. Check out my chain." I was like, <laughs> "What is going on?" Wes has become a 14 year old child. <laughs> okay, you're done with Discord. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're yeah, done. Yeah, I need to be. T- it needs to be taken away from me. <laughs> really, you just need to get out of the chill resort because that that's is, where all the fucking 14 year olds are. That's where all the problems are. Apollo, I know you're listening, <laughs> but that, like, it's been a blessing and a curse. Like, you guys have been super cool to us. I've met some really cool people in the chill resort, but it has also affected my mental health in a negative <laughs> way. <laughs> Like, Discord's a bad place. Um, or at least some Discord servers. Your server's cool, Paulo. Love you. Um, so we, we uh, or I, have been diving into Discord, and I've met a lot of cool people on some random server. And one of those people has now transformed our server into a proper Discord server with all the cool fonts and shit. So I wanted to plug that. Like, if you guys want to be a part of the community that we've been trying to build and that we've been talking about up to this point, it's there now. Like, there's people who listen to the show that want to talk about the show, that want to talk about the things we talk about and have, like, chats. Like, we, we, we've done video chats with people and t- had long emotional conversations about, like, the things that are affecting us, the things that got us where we were. And it's just been, like, that part of it's been really cool and life-changing for me where it's, like, I can talk to strangers online now and feel good about it and not feel weird. Because it's not something I normally do unless I'm talking to you or, like, the CSGO players that you've invited to the, the server. <laughs> So, I have some shout-outs to do. Um, Which, by the way, you can get Discord on your phone, too. So, like, if you want to be a part of it, you don't have to have a computer or really be, like, into gaming, which kind of Discord is, like, usually, usually used for that. But you can get it on your phone, too, and just join in that way and then just have it on your phone. It's just another platform for all of us to be a part of things. Yes. Yes. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to shout-out Destiny. That's um, the person who has just completely changed the way our discord server looks and set it up in a way that's so professional and just like so well done. And like, it fits the format of what a discord server is supposed to be like. And we have categories now, we have topics, we have channels for everything. Um, So if you want to hop in and talk to us about your artwork, you want to self promote, cross promote, you want to talk about some NSFW shit. We got that in there. Age restricted. Stay out of it. If you're underage, Mm -hmm. Uh, we got our uh, skateboarding channel, memes channel, movies, television, mute music, sports, gaming, comedy, emotional support and all the voice channels oh yeah so if you can hit us up about anything and also there's podcast places uh to talk about topics or questions that you have for us destiny did all that she's been a major help she's been really cool Fuck um, yeah and she was the first supporter to jump into the discord server and uh and yeah, she has seriously helped out a lot and and take it she's taken it like way more seriously and been so cool about it than I could have ever expected from anyone. Like, just yeah. all on board immediately. So uh, if you want to say hi to the person that now runs our Discord server, because <laughs> we just pop in and say hi now, uh, shout out to Destiny. Um, she is now Princess Whalecome. <laughs> that is her role in the Discord, Discord server. Uh, it started out as just Princess. She chose that. I uh, made that for her. And after she heard our last episode with Sean Devine, apologies to Sean. 
<laughs> Some of you may know what I'm talking about. Also, by the way, fix the YouTube after you after you pointed it out to me that I did it wrong in the description, and then you posted the YouTube video with the mistake still there. No, I didn't. You changed the name for the title, but in the description, it's spelled wrong still. A oh, couple times. fuck, it's in the description. It's in the description God a couple damn times. It. I yeah. forgot about the description. <laughs> I totally forgot. Sorry, Sean. Fuck. Um, in the, in the, in the uh, title says his name correctly. Yeah, nobody reads the descriptions anyway. I, I do. I read them every Clearly single time. Clearly, you don't. <laughs> well, I skipped Ooh. over his last name. I read them every single time. You skim them. No, I read it every single time. I just, when I posted it, I'd already read it because he already posted the episode. Yeah. So I'd already read the description. So, like, when I went to go put it in, I didn't even think about it. I just copy and pasted it over. Yeah, and... I wasn't trying to give you shit. I just thought it was funny. I am. <laughs> Well, because I felt real bad, and then I felt way better when I saw the YouTube, and I was like, oh, it's, t- it's not all my I'm about fault. to go change it right now. <laughs> We're all done right. with the podcast. I'm going to go fix YouTube. I got a couple more shout-outs. No, to we have to. to go fix the YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, another shout-out to Maddie, who was another person from the Chill Resort, that when the podcast got shouted out, he was one of the few people that actually went and checked it out and listened. And a lot of people on the Chill Resort have been like, oh, you do a podcast? I'll check it out. Or they've been like, "Uh, your YouTube page only has 14 followers. Fuck you. So, like, there's been a Thanks. there's been a mix of, uh, well, a lot of them are like 12. Don't Their opinion does not so, matter. So what you're telling me <laughs> is that if I'm not already famous and have, like, thousands of followers that you don't think that we're, we're going we're gonna to be good? Like, you don't think that, like, Ninja or Shroud, like started out with like zero fucking followers and and at one point had like 14 people watching them like yeah yeah you're just fucking stupid is what you are so if you see if you join the discord server and you see banana maddie he was one of the cool people that actually went checked it out ended up liking the show having questions for us and supporting us that guy's great thanks shout out to maddie and then uh, there was one more, Sky. Sky. Shout out to Sky. Sky's been super cool. She was another person that I've spent a lot of time talking to. And uh, she's just a chill person. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. And she's, she didn't go and check out the podcast yet, but promised she would and was very interested in the way we were talking about the podcast. I think that, and that I appreciated. I was having the conversation last night when she was like, w- like, how did you guys, you know, get your name and like me yeah. telling her that and she's like, how did you guys meet? And I was like, okay, well this, and then like everything that we kind of explained about it, I think that gave her a little bit more of a, a yeah. initiative to go and listen to it, you know? Yeah. Well, and then I've all I've already mentioned him, but the guy who's kind of been like, uh, the, the shout out King for us that, uh, when he found the podcast was like, y'all aren't cringe. And I like that. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, that's the best thing you can say about the podcast. Uh, so shout out to Apollo. You're you're great, dude. And it he, was cool getting to chat with you for a little bit the other day. I know you don't like to do that. So thank you. He's the admin for the Chill Resort, which has like 1,400. He's the owner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, has like 1,400 people in it. And literally in his um, status. So like when you go to the members list and like he's up at the top, it blue skies from the basement on YouTube. And I yeah. was like, oh. <laughs> oh my god we're gonna get famous and then we had like one person come over <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh spoon that's another oh, person spoon. i should probably shout out sir spoon or magical spoon in our server sir spoon. uh i got to talk to him a bit he's from um uh overseas um i'm gonna butcher the name of the country so i won't say <laughs> but uh yeah he's been really cool he taught me a lot about um asian and british dynamics throughout history and uh he was a place that was like co- colonized by the british at one point but it's actually an asian island oh um, yeah yeah it's uh where indonesia is oh no shit yeah yeah oh yeah um so shout out to those people and i'm sorry if that was boring for anybody that normally listens to our show but i wanted to get that out of the way so that we could shout out the people that have been cool and if you want to go check that out be a part of that like all those people are great to chat with i mean if you want to hear your name too we can shout you out too you just gotta let us know you join the discord join our instagram join the facebook or anything like that leave us a voicemail all that other shit then we you can get shouted out too. Yeah. Well, and you also get podcast updates. So like if we're gonna be late on an episode or if we're releasing a bonus episode, like there's an announcement channel for that. So we'll we'll keep you guys updated in a more consistent way than if you're just checking the Instagram or the Twitter. Yeah, I was like, Hey, Justin, can you make an episode announcement text like 
And then there was like a whole bunch of issues with it. I was like, I don't want people to be able to respond to it. I just want them to read it and yada, yeah. yada, yada. And she's like, I'm on it. I got it. I was like, oh, thanks. She had like, it fixed in like an hour. I know. Yeah. I was at work too. I was like, this is great. Like, yeah. I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> Fucking shit just gets fixed. We have somebody who runs our server now. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, it definitely helps out with you having to do the audio, me having to do the video. And then like we do the other socials and shit like that. It's nice that way. Like with Discord, we got somebody that like we can trust and that kind of knows what they're doing. And it just makes it so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys. Mm hmm. Thank you to everybody that's been supporting us and helping us out with that. On to the next. Uh, on to the next. Uh, on <laughs> Here comes the, the fun. Uh, this is what next. we were waiting for. Well, I do have one thing. <laughs> oh, okay. D- was that the only thing that you had? I thought you had like three things. I'm going to skip them. Oh, okay. Hey, fair it. enough. Yeah. We'll do yours. Yeah. Okay. Well, mine's not like a big thing. I mean, it, it's, it's, not a long thing. Okay, uh, so... Well, I'm used to that. I like it long. I don't really have Or to. short. I'll oh. take either. I don't have too many long things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what was the... What was the TikTok? Uh, the fucking... Um, where are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Regular dudes checking their, <laughs> their dick size. Hmm, yeah. Dudes named Austin checking their dick size. Where are you? <laughs> anyway, Sorry. so no, you're fine. Uh, I had to find the the thingy. Um, so you guys know about OnlyFans, mm-hmm. yes. So did you hear about the Bella Thorne situation with I OnlyFans, did. where she made like a million dollars in one day? Yeah, but did you hear why it's so like fucked up? No, I didn't. So basically, so the way the OnlyFans like works, like not like the whole entire way it works but just like how it works like basically from what i understand um is like so people subscribe to your only fans page and like it's a certain amount of money like ten dollars twenty dollars a month um and then after that they have access to your page and you can already a lot of people will post like pictures and videos like beforehand so that way you have access to those things but then there's like these like ppv messages which you pay to view so bella thorne sent out this this message and it was two hundred dollars to view it and she said it was her naked like watching tv or something like that so all these people paid two hundred dollars to see bella thorne naked and she was in lingerie which is not naked that's that's not naked that's not naked yes so all these these sex workers that have already had these only fan pages like they're basically getting fucked over because now only fans like all these people have requested like refunds because they were tricked into paying this money and now basically only fans is saying like before this happened like anybody who had an account they could like get a payout like every like seven days so like once a week you can like get all the money that you made like like getting paid weekly now it's being changed to every 30 days so you can only get paid once a month so that's shitty and then also now they've made it to where you can only tip somebody i think it's a hundred dollars max when before i don't think that there was a max or it was higher than that so now that's changed as well because of something that she did which was a whole like scam basically false advertising Mm -hmm. and it's like fucking it up for all these other people like bella thorne already is very successful in her career she did not need this money like so basically all these people are saying that she's like that's really shitty like she should take the money that she made and and give it to sex workers who actually like are using their job as like because they need it because they don't have any other way of like making income right she's sponsored i'm sure by certain things she um made a video through like she directed it i believe through pornhub so i feel like i've seen the thumbnail for it but didn't watch yeah i've seen her name on pornhub but yeah, yeah yeah she and then she obviously was a child star like through Disney, so she had made money from that, and then she also I forget that part. Yeah, yeah. that's how she started as Disney. But I since then, she's done a bunch of other little things that like you probably haven't heard about. But they've made her a lot of some money, so like she doesn't need the money. Like she's fine. Her sister is like a really like well known like DJ. Like she's like fine. I don't know. I just feel like I that's really like do a scam just to right. make even more money. That's well, and there's not like legal like lanes that because it's OnlyFans is so new and like it being an online service and them also having like a terms of service that you sign when you sign up for it. 
and when you pay for people like you're agreeing when you when you sign up for an account whether you're a provider of the content or you're a viewer of the content so like i don't know legally like what could happen or if it could be taken to court in a way that's meaningful in any way like obviously there's fraud involved or false advertising but i don't know how you would it would it, it would have, have have to be in the terms and conditions for only fans like yeah. if it's not there or if it wasn't there when she did that then there's nothing that they can do about it because it's not going against any of the rules of only fans yeah now if there's like a law where it's like you know like you're not gonna sell me or say that you're gonna like send me a, a something specific and then you don't send me that like if i order a little pot and then you send me you know some weed and i'm like no i really wanted a little pot like a yeah. little tiny pot i didn't you know? even catch that when you <laughs> first said it <laughs> <laughs> see see yeah. what i'm doing here yeah. uh then like do you get in trouble for that like can i legally take you to court and be like you sold me weed when on the description of it it said that you were going to sell me a little pot but that's no because that's different because she said me naked right so she and then she wasn't naked so she, she sold the, that's yeah that's a flat out lie like for you that could be a miscommunication issue you know what i mean like if she would have said like me feeling naughty on the couch right people are going to assume that's her being naked but if she gives them a lingerie picture she never said she was going to be naked yeah, she might have no, like I get that but see that, that's what i'm saying though is if is there a law already in place against people being able to do that i would hope so and i mean any other service any other good any other if you order on amazon some wine glasses and they send you some socks but that's what i was just talking about with the pot i i also think there's an aspect of it too where like because of the weed thing i immediately thought well like if you buy weed online like obviously this you weren't saying it that way but if you let's say you were trying to buy weed and they sent you a little pot yeah yeah and st- instead of like you're trying to buy a little pot and they sent you some weed does that's what you were saying yeah. yeah yeah so the reverse so let's say like you're trying to buy an illegal substance and they send you something different you're not going to have you're going to be less likely to try to take legal action because you okay. were performing a criminal act i was taking well, no, take no, no, the so legality me, out of it let me let me finish the the point though is that like so these people are paying for sex work or they're paying for porn in some form mm-hmm. so like those type of people are less likely going to report that there was some sort of crime involved because it's like this kind of shady. I mean, I know it's on OnlyFans, but it's one of those things where it's like it's not fully accepted by everybody yet. Like, are you going to be the front runner, like the yeah. person that's on the news? I'm sure like there are people who will, but it's not everybody. Where it's like, you know, so and so is suing Bella Thorne for you know scamming them. So I agree that Bella Thorne should do something. Like she should give money back to the people who are affected, but also like OnlyFans needs to not do what they're doing. Like, yeah. because she didn't use the platform the way it was meant to be used. Mm-hmm. And that's why that happened. It's not the the way the platform was set up that fucked it up. It was Bella Thorne. Yeah. So if anything, kick her off the platform. Yeah. And then don't change what you were doing because people were using it properly before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't think it would have been a problem. Like, I don't have any issue. Like, I 100% see the appeal in, like, celebrity nudes. And in the past, it's always been, like celebrity sex tapes like leaked and it's without their consent as far as we know this situation she's kind of taking control of it and saying you know obviously people want to see what celebrities look like naked everybody that's just that's just how it is so i'm going to take control of that and take control of like how it happens and i'm gonna sell it and and profit off of it that's smart but the fucked up thing is just like that she lied she deceived people in what she was selling if she wouldn't have done that, it would have been like all all good, I think. Personally. It's literally like she didn't even have to do that. Like she already no. has naked photos out too. Yeah. And like videos and shit. So like and personally, all you had to do was put, Hey, I'm in lingerie and they still would have paid the two hundred mm-hmm. fucking dollars. Oh yeah, for, for it. sure. Like one hundred percent. What the fuck? But personally I I, I wouldn't have paid two hundred dollars for any pictures of no, Bella Thorne. Fuck no. Um, 
I'm not paying two hundred dollars for anybody's fucking picture. Mm-hmm. Like that's why I don't have an OnlyFans either. Why the fuck would I subscribe to like somebody when? Because there's... you're supporting. So- it's like supporting a local business. Because I mean, I the, get that, but what local of... person am I gonna support that you're gonna be okay with? Not that local, but like <laughs> <laughs> not anybody you actually know. Not that local. <laughs> <the> <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. Not that local is the quote of the day. Yes. <laughs> but like, because, I mean, again, I would prefer you to subscribe to, I mean, shit, if you're going to subscribe to an OnlyFans, there's definitely some that I would subscribe to as well. So if you're doing it, just let me know so I can also do it. I mean, you both watch porn, right? Yeah, but yeah. I try not to for the pure fact of I know that it, like, the people who are profiting off of that are not the people who should be profiting yeah. off of that. So I feel bad. And so I have made like a conscious effort to like not watch as much porn. Um, with the exception of the one person that I like my, my favorite porn star, but I follow her on Twitter and she loves being a porn star. So I don't feel bad about it. Yeah. Who's your favorite porn star? <laughs> you don't want to say so no. seen okay all right all right fair no. enough no that's fine i didn't know if you were cool Such about it or what yeah. I mean, can, can you tell me later yeah okay cool. absolutely all right um yeah yeah i'm with wes on this one i would just kick bella thorn off and then put yes. it in the rules and regulations that if you do if somebody does that and you get reported then you get kicked off she's but, the mistake she not she's the mistake. She made the mistake. So she like, is the mistake. Yeah, that <laughs> she, wasn't she wrong. She was a mistake. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, Bella Thorne. Jesus I guess. Christ, y'all. <laughs> Damn. She's not gonna pew, hear this. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> Bella Thorne's gonna blow up our Twitter. She's all all in our mentions. We will get very famous if we, <laughs> we did that would, because though, everybody yeah. hates her right now. So if she was like hating on us, then everybody would be like, "We like this podcast." <laughs> Just because Bella Thorne doesn't. Hell yeah. Why does get this to Bella Thorne? <laughs> Somebody send this to her. Um why does Disney seem like the fucking Catholic Church of Hollywood where it just turns out like horny girls? Like what the fuck is that? Like, because it is. Okay. No, you right though. Yeah, no, that was a like, dumb what question. What the fuck, dude? I don't even I really don't know why you asked that. Because that was dumb, it no. literally is. The answer to the question is in the question. <laughs> <laughs> I keep hearing things about uh what's her name jojo siwa oh yeah and about no, how discord talks about her really yeah i believe it I the, the 15 sense. year olds talk mm-hmm. about her all the time i've <laughs> heard so many things of people being like she's gonna pull a miley cyrus when her contract is up she is going to come out as gay and she's gonna fucking do her own thing and like live her own life and like like miley like she actually like met up with miley like semi recently i guess or maybe it wasn't recently i just saw it recently and was like hanging out with her so it makes sense i yeah. think that would be really cool their contracts are just so oppressive mm-hmm. probably so like oh, when you're sure. finally like sc- like it's rebelling against the system is all it is yeah yeah, yeah. that's like if you have really strict parents and then you yeah. turn 18 and then you're like and you get like four you. piercings and like three tattoos mm-hmm. yeah. yeah something like that yeah taking three dicks at once yeah oh well <laughs> that's what i did when i got out of the house <laughs> i mean yeah I mean, not I didn't do that, but good for you. The real question <laughs> is, how did you take three dicks? I can understand a woman. Um, obviously, where was two the in third his, hole? Two in his butt. Yeah. You know how my dick's flappy and loose? <laughs> my fucking. I mean, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you gonna go with this? My asshole's flappy and loose. Oh my god. Okay. With that being said, <sighs> we're gonna move on because I I can't. I can't. It's TikTok time. It is TikTok time. Are you guys ready for some TikToks? It's time for the TikTok box. We have a lot of TikToks. I'm so sorry, people, if you guys don't enjoy this segment of the show, but we have a lot of TikToks, so we're going to get into those TikToks right about now. Quick question. Why is it that every night uh, I can hear porn through our shared wall? <laughs> you can hear the porn I'm playing? In mm-hmm. there? Okay, I play it on my laptop. It's loud. I'm like, oh, shit. Grab the noise cancer headphones, hit the button. Put the headphones on so it muffles the sound, so it's quieter. And then the noise canceling means you can't hear it, right? right Are you telling I, me the noise canceling is not working? I think I see the problem. Are your headphones <laughs> paired with your laptop? The no- I hit the noise can. So the sound is supposed to go through your headphones. And the noise what? canceling is supposed to be for everything else that is not the thing you're trying to listen you're to. You're supposed to hear it in the headphones. Mm-hmm. 
So you've heard all of the porn that I've yeah. played. <laughs> type of porn. Uh -huh. Hunky roommate porn. Hunky roommate porn. Roommate convinces other roommate he's gay porn. You can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> can you help me figure out how to do the Bluetooth? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, man, that was fucking good. I can't That's lie. if we lived together. Yeah. If we'd never met our wives, that's we would have made that video <laughs> before they made that video. Five years ago, that would have happened. <laughs> uh, roommate helps other roommate get unstuck love... from the from the washer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> my, those are my favorites. Where it's like the bunk bed, and she's like under it for some reason. Yeah. And you're like, why are you under? It? And then just plowing, or like stuck in a locker. It's like, what, what? When does that happen? Anyway. <laughs> Also, that's rape. Like, <laughs> like, what is wrong with people in porn now? Where it's They're like all just I want to fuck my mom, I want to fuck my sister, and I want them to be stuck while I'm doing it. No, 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 no. Step. That's that's that is that's the, only that because the... that's the only legal way they're allowed exactly, to make those videos. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, why are they doing this? God it's damn. Dumb. It. Some of those videos are pretty hot, though. Our favorite guy. <laughs> I love Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger. Shout out to your dad. Let me show you how I cook rice. It's the white girl way. It's not the Asian what way. What is white girl way. way? But this is how I do it. And I'm sorry if you're offended by this. And Uncle Roger won't like this. Oh, but you know Uncle Roger won't like. And you still do. So courage. Five and a half liters of water. And bring it so to the So much and water. Yes, it's a lot of water, but this is a crucial part to the end result. Okay. Okay. The water. You boil water without the rice one in. One cup of rice. Oh no, and rice drowning! Like rice drowning! No, no, no! So it's gonna boil for like 10 minutes and just come back and stir it like every. Don't so stir often. rice, oh Can't my god! Can't be quiet, I'm making a TikTok! Oh, okay, yelling at Kate, okay, like Uncle Roger, a poof that. It's nearly ready. <laughs> if you've been stirring it properly, then. Rice that's what it drowning. Like. Alright, turn off the heat so and we're gonna strain it. Okay, I'm gonna strain, try and do this while I'm like holding you it. Call, it's use colander to strain Oh my god, strain no! Put the colander down, no, no, no! Not perfect. Not perfect, Uncle Roger sat. That rice looked like trash. It did look like straight <laughs> trash. And she's like, oh, it's perfect. And I was like, no, the fuck it's not. And even Uncle Roger was like, no, you're a fucking idiot. No, when you make rice, it's supposed to be like, you, you, it's rice in the pot when it's done. You don't fucking... No. You, you don't, you don't drain rinse. and rinse. No. Well, you, what the fuck are you doing? No, people are just fucking stupid. Listen, listen, everyone. Oh, my God. I just realized the fact that we it's have the cool. ability... To have wet dreams implies the fact that if we focused our brains hard enough, if we focused our brains hard enough, we could nut without our hands in real life. FBI, open! <laughs> <laughs> he was so baked. <laughs> he so was so baked, baked dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's at uh, don't touch my penis. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was just a skate video. Well, shout out to the skaters. Ooh. 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 Where is that school? Uh, even the, like, the first one, when he like catches it, I was like, that was clean. Yeah. And then he, I thought that that's what he was trying to do. Yeah. I was like, he set out to do what he was trying to do. And then he actually did it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Where, the, where is that school? Holy shit, that was cool as fuck. Somebody find that school and send it to me. Right. Mail me the whole school in the mail. FedEx right. will ship it. FedEx. Is there somebody up here? Dude, this room is off limits. What are you? Bro, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, are you okay? Bro, you ever had a panic attack before? Okay, that's okay. You're having one now. Just stick with me here for a This second. is the, the frat right. house king <sighs> finds Close you having a panic head attack. Head against the wall. Okay. This is your POV. <sighs> okay. Put your nose out of your mouth, just like that. Good, okay. You got anything to drink tonight, brother? Take any meds? Okay. All right, you're gonna be okay, bro. There's a lot of people out there. You ever been to a party this big? No. It gets kind of overwhelming. Yeah, it is. It's all good, brother. Having the best. I'm kind of freaking things. out, man. All right. I just called you an Uber. I'm gonna hang out here till it gets here. I, once you get, once I you prefer get home, a lift. <laughs> I want you to drink plenty of water, get some good sleep tonight. All right. <sighs> Love you too, bro. Okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> All you frat people out there, that's the way you do it. No, I thought there was gonna be he was gonna be a douche the whole time, but he was actually pretty good about no, that. I should have I should have uh 
I forgot to 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 intro that one. Yes, I yeah. did. That's my fault. That's okay. Yeah, that's, I'll edit it out. It's totally my fault. I totally, <laughs> totally. That whole TikTok's getting removed. It'll be in the video though. I'm here to defeat you, <laughs> evildoer. That's what you think, superhero guy man. That's not my name, but okay. You'll never defeat me in my power of dickakinesis. Dick <laughs> what now? Dickakinesis. <laughs> no, I I heard you. I just. What the fuck is dickakinesis? Well, you see, it's like <laughs> telekinesis, but for dicks. I don't even... <laughs> what? Yes, tremble before my almighty power. Well, um... Uh, that's not what I would call it. Enough chatter. Feel the power of my dickakinesis blast. <laughs> you... You're gonna dick blast me? <laughs> oh, I assure you. My dick will not be the one blasting. All right, I've had about a no. <laughs> yes, yes. Did you just make me nut in my pants? Try and catch me now, soggy britches. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, he came up with dick kinesis while he was shit-faced at night. And then was, wrote it down and then had to come up with like, why did I write it? I write it why did I write this down? And then he made a TikTok. That's something I would do. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious, man. Like that shit got me. I'm not gonna lie, that shit got me. <laughs> Have you oh, had a no? Uh, uh. <laughs> Bim, 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 Bim. Stop! 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 Hey, I have a question. No. Do you want to park that Big Mac truck right in this little garage? I don't have a CDL. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Time. Oh my fucking god. I don't have a CDL. <laughs> <laughs> That's the smartest dumb answer I've ever heard. <laughs> oh god. That was fucking great, dude. That one was. Whew. Oh, I like that one. Whew. Wes, I did this one for you, bud. I did this for you. <laughs> wait, wait. There you go. There you go. Wait. You got it. Wait. We're here now. As a PhD immunologist in the United States during a pandemic, now I feel like I have a really good understanding of what climate scientists feel like all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> that one that one spoke to me. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's almost any topic. Any topic. If you get me started on, that's just I'm boiling on the inside. <laughs> I um I like how like each time we do this segment, there's always that one video that I'm like, I did this for you, Wes. <laughs> I made this for you. Uh, this one was definitely for me. <laughs> Doing stuff for yourself. Guess what? Shake it, but gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that looks like my apartments. Go back to that real quick. Hold on. I'll, I'll... That legit looks like my apartments. I just need to. S oh, you stupid TikTok! Wait, hold on. Wait. No. Yeah. See. No, I will not hold on. No, that's pretty close though. That's what they look like. Yeah, that's not your apartment. No, it's not. But it's pretty close. That is what my apartments look like. Oh well. Hopefully, people can find you now. Fucking try me. Find me. Do okay, it. Okay, this one's also for me. Not gonna lie. This is the greatest and best song oh, in the world. you were singing this. <laughs> Tribute. Tribute. We was hitchhiking down a long and lonesome road. All of a sudden, there shined this shiny demon. And he said, Play the best song in the world. Or I'll eat, eat your, your soul. souls. <laughs> or needless to say, the beast was stunned. A whip crack with his whip and tail, and, and the beast was dead. He asked us, Be you angels? <laughs> and we said, Nay. We are but men. Rock. No, no, there wasn't a twist. There wasn't a- Why am I friends with you? <laughs> Why the fuck am I friends with you? 
You literally just did that for you. You made our you made our listeners sit through that. (laughs) You just wanted to perform and be seen for a minute. You egotistical (laughs) fuck. (laughs) This we're running a show. Other people listen to this. This isn't just for us. (laughs) I don't know if I'm talking about this. This is totally are we getting to mine? I love you. I think this, yes, that was my last one. We are now into my wife. Yes. Watch Jack Black's uni- animated series on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> I love some honesty talks. <laughs> oh, this is getting flagged. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> Is that the rice chick? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I've still been to every time I've listened to the the episode from from uh, where we did your TikToks the last time with Sean. Uh, probably four times now between like being here, editing it, and then checking to make sure it sounded good when it was done. And that one just fucking hello just gets me every time. <laughs> like I'm dead every time. I like the the female anatomy TikToks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, next one. So I just had a kid spend an entire class, so 50 minutes, asking me for the Squidward on a chair song. And I was like, I'm sorry, honey, I I don't know the Squidward on a chair song. He was like, you know Squidward on a chair. And I was like, no, I, I don't know Squidward on a chair, but I'll look it up. And then he starts singing it. He goes, oh, we're halfway there. Oh. Squidward on a chair. <laughs> Squidward on a <the> chair. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you know, that one would have been a really good segue one. Like that like if we could From end on Jack that Black. one. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, no okay. if we could end on that one and then go into my game of misheard sound lyrics. Oh yeah. That would have been would a, be that perfect. Would, that would that one would have been fucking perfect, man. If we could we if we could have just had that a little sooner. What's the next take my hand? I it'll be or or, or so, we'll be okay, I swear. There's what's the next take lyric? Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. We'll make it, I swear. SpongeBob and Patrick. I don't know. I was trying to think of more lyrics. We'll workshop it. It'll be in the description. <laughs> I'm brushing their hair. <laughs> it's too late to call a judge. Next TikTok. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. All right. All right. I'll give you that one. That one was pretty fucking good. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Is that a WAP? Is that what that means? <laughs> no, no, no. Do you know what WAP stands for? Yes. Okay. Work and play. Worship and praise. Yeah. Wet ass p word. <laughs> Wes's adult porn. Yeah. It's my new channel. Check me out on OnlyFans. Well, not anymore because Bella Thorne ruined it. Wes's aggressive personality. What? WAP. Oh, <laughs> it's like I'm not aggro. <laughs> Chill. Chill. No, you definitely don't have an ad. No. An ad, an, an, an... You egotistical fuck. <laughs> you definitely do not have an aggressive personality. There, yeah. I can talk. Yay. Next TikTok. Next TikTok. <laughs> All right, how bad is it? <laughs> it's not light. Huh? <laughs> oh, shit. I got a burner. Is that weird? <laughs> no, that'd be me drinking some moonshine for sure. I definitely thought of you when I saved it. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> Cause I am the shit. This whole episode is me just being so narcissistic. We love it. That's what we like about you. <laughs> sure. That's what I like about you. <laughs> hey, don't argue, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you too. That's hilarious. Because if we would have been those like people fighting, I would have lost it. Yeah, fight over. Austin's not pleased with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like I listen to that song? Do I? I don't even know what the song is. Let it go by Passenger or Let Her Go. Let her go. Let it mm. go. 
passenger. It was just funny because they were just like, don't fight, guys. It pulls out camera. <laughs> this next one is not funny. Yes! I just popped up my leg. Fresh me all over again. Now I'm trying to fuck Molly Cyrus. I'm going to put cocaine in your ass. So it reminds me of stop. I'm going to put my dick in your ass. I'm going to put cocaine in your ass. I'm going to put a shirt on my dick. I'm going to put my dick in your ass. <laughs> That's my wife when she gets drunk. No, he definitely showed up to the wrong fucking party. That dude, no. No, you fucked up, bro. The caption, though, is like, no, that's actually his good friend. He's just joking around, so. Poor guy. That's my wife when she's drunk. Well, poor Oh, this is for both of you. Yay. Yay. Hi, this is Chris and Marley. I'm going to show you how to put a bow on a baby in two simple steps. First, distraction. Mar, look, a duck! (laughs) (laughs) No, that was great. Bro, kids kids don't do what you want them to do. (laughs) They don't. Every single time we've ever tried to put anything on Amelia, she's just... No! No! I've even tried to be a little bit of a dad to the kids in the Discord, and they always just tell me to shut up. I'm a yeah. boomer. <laughs> You're like, fuck, I'm just gonna help you out. Don't be so mean. Uh, oh, is this Tony Hawk helping his daughter on the mega ramp? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah! That's awesome. Come on, you can do it. Uh, oh yeah, Destiny. This is like the upgraded version of the video you sent me in the Discord channel for the wood pushers. Yeah. Got it, Sky. <laughs> Just commit. <clears throat> Just commit. Okay. What a fucking little Just shredder. She's working herself up. Get it. Mm-hmm. Does she have like a short board that's like for her? Yeah. That's, a, that's, a that's fucking Ooh. dope. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And tried the fucking. I feel like she tried the. Yeah, yeah. The finger flip shit. That was. Yeah, that's dope. That's what's up. That was awesome. Yeah, dude. Okay, we still have a lot to get through. We got a few. We got a few more here. Excuse us. Keep keep this going. All aboard the TikTok train. I'm gonna spill my beer. Don't do that. I'm not going to. So I was just wondering what I look like from the boys' point of view when I'm praying on my knees. You know, because I love Jesus. <laughs> I'm going home and making a, a replica video. <laughs> Are you going to do a POV, Wes? Of when you're praying to Jesus? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to look up at the same time. You got to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. I'll figure it out. Next TikTok. <laughs> no, they mean 4 a.m. It's after 4 a.m. They only serve breakfast after 4 a.m., dude. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what time do you start serving regular food? <laughs> Damn. I know. That's rough. <laughs> Y'all should always serve regular food, but we'll we we'll we'll adjust. Chicken nuggets for, from the store. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So um, I'm 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 ready. Can I get a sausage biscuit uh-huh. with egg, but with no egg? Okay. He's allergic to egg. I'll have a number two <laughs> meal. What would you like to drink? Um, I guess. Do you serve lunch beverages? <laughs> oh my god. Um, what are lunch beverages? Like 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 a like a Coke. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my god. I'll take a I'll take a Coke. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what is so funny? Do you serve lunch beverages? <laughs> no, I've been that dumb in the drive thru. <laughs> I've been that stupid. 
stoned at two in the morning. I'm like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Do you serve lunch beverages? I'm kind of hungry right now. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, right, this we, next one is wholesome. We got four more. Four more. Put it on? Yeah. What finger do you want on this one? Okay. Pretty good on that. I never knew you got any weed. Why know. did you not tell me? Oh, <laughs> but, uh, you can't, but we can't keep secrets so we make it better. Uh, oh! That's so sweet. You love that ring? Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Uh, let me see. <laughs> let me take a picture. Oh my. Oh. No. So like. I don't know if you got it, but it's like the little boy's like mom, like that's his mom's fiance, and so she was like proposing to him too. Like, can I be your mom too? Oh, so sweet. No, you yeah. definitely should have pretense that. Well, you didn't pretense yours, mm, and it was a mistake. Mm-hmm. Next one. <sighs> Go to your little body. She my little boo thing. And Shorty got the fatty. <laughs> Face on Zaddy. Pockets on Jigga. You better get the corner, make it swipe like Tinder. <laughs> Ain't gotta get naked for no tinder bracelet. <laughs> I get 50 bands for a fucking ankle. I never snitch on daddy. I hold a brick for you, daddy. Smash on the bitch for you, daddy. <laughs> then leave. Get that head, get that bread. Then leave. <laughs> I said put it on, make him wanna marry me. <laughs> bitch don't get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> I don't cook. I don't clean. Let me tell you, I got this ring. Got me swapping me, drip down the side of me. <laughs> <laughs> that last one was good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. Hello. Recently at Walmart, I was with my wife. Hey, sexy. And I felt like something was calling me. It was something that I just needed. It was like, hey, I know you want me. So I bought a do rag. I've never actually owned a do rag before, but I thought it'd be cool. I don't know how to put this thing on exactly, but. <laughs> I know this ain't how, but it looks like I'm gonna churn your butter. <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all perverts probably took that the wrong way, and y'all to be ashamed of you. <laughs> you mean to tell me in this oh, whole yeah. box I ain't got no daggum direction? Okay, this is start. I feel like I'm getting it. Oh, Lord, how many times I gotta wrap this thing around? Is my head normally this cone shaped? But honestly, I've never felt cooler. <laughs> like I'm in, I'm in, I, I'm in the do rag game. What? Well, if my wife feels like I ain't wearing this to church, here's my review of the do rag. They're cool, <laughs> super cool. White people ruin everything. <laughs> <sighs> I'm glad I he's happy like he though. Has, he has no idea what a do rag is actually for. Yeah, dude has no idea. Yeah, he's just like, oh, I want to look cool. Yeah. Which is respectable, I guess. I thought it was kind of funny. I, I liked it. I guess. He's harmless. Okay, guys, we have to be careful. Someone here is possessed by an owl. Who? That's the thing. We don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm Who? so slow tonight. <laughs> Legit, there was like a whole beat after that where I was like, oh. That was the last one. That was the last one? That was the last TikTok. That was a lot of TikToks. That was a lot of TikToks. You're welcome. I, I, thank you. Anytime. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. There you go. You're fucking stupid. I really did have to cough, though. Oh. Um, it's about that time. It is about break time. We're, is, we're past is, an hour. It is about break time. Yeah. So, um... Uh, Shit. Nice. That was awesome. Okay, we're actually going to end the episode here because I, <laughs> I need to go take care of that because I was sexy as fuck. <laughs> episode over. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back, finish the episode. Sound good, everybody? Sounds All right, good. Let's fucking do it. Start recording there. Put my headphones actually on. And I don't need my glasses anymore. They hurt after wearing them, but I needed them for the TikTok. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Another exciting episode of Blue Skies from the Basement. We are going to get into our 
favorite segment besides the TikToks and the games and just sitting here and talking and having a good time. Um, <laughs> so the last favorite. So literally the least favorite segment. No, um, no, it's not the least. It's the last. The last, yeah. We're not, we're not disparaging the book. True. Yeah. Um, 2,000 questions about me. And uh, what number are we on, babe? We are our number 1,000. 539. Ooh, I think that's the highest number we've ever had. It's a good number. It is. 539. 1,539. It's an odd number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what's the first question? What you got? What is your favorite sport, beginning with the letter S? <laughs> Shut up. Are you serious? <laughs> that's not the question. <laughs> it is. Scuba diving. <laughs> Ski. Ooh, good one. No skateboarding, definitely skateboarding. Oh, mine sex. Is that a sport? Uh it can be. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on what you're into. Or um There's a type of sex called water sport. What? What is that? It's pissing. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> um how do you feel about buying a home? Personally, I would love to buy a home. Um but you know, it costs money, so. Yeah, I would love to have a home, too, you know? I mean, honestly, I, I wish we could have a big enough house that, like, we could move in with somebody, wink, wink, um, <laughs> and, like, we could live our own lives and not really see each other, but if we wanted to see each other, like, there we are. Or, like, the homes that have, like, the bridge in the middle. Yeah. That'd yeah. be cool as fuck. Those are dope. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I uh, I want to build my own home. Like design it so that it's what we want. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And put I would put secret pass passageways. Oh yeah. There's gonna be too. the flipping bookcase where there's a whole yeah. sex dungeon back there and everything. Yeah. yeah. Trampoline we floor. Yes. There's gonna be a skateboard hall hallway that leads into a foam pit or a trampoline floor. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. Um, what TV shows have you binge watched? Should Ooh. I start? Uh, <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> The Umbrella Academy, Peaky Blinders. I still need to see Umbrella Academy. It's really good. I've heard it's Second good. season is good, too. Yeah. I think you would really like it. Um, Letter Kenny. Yeah. And Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You go next. Um, so I've been watched multiple shows because I am a stay-at-home mom, so. Yeah. And she's little, so it doesn't matter what I put on. Like, she's half interested in whatever it is, so. um a lot but the one specifically that i have been watched multiple times oh jesus christ would have to be gilmore girls <laughs> i've seen it at least a lot a lot of times a lot i've of times. seen it since we've been together at least four times yeah. and that's just since we've been together i started watching it when i was in elementary school yeah yeah so at least four times i've seen all of Gilmore Girls. I've seen all of Friends at least four or five times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my my <laughs> wife with the Friends. God damn. Even after our, our our anniversary date today, she was like, "I want to go home and watch Friends." And I was like, "Well, I'm not doing <laughs> uh, no." <that." laughs> oh, Kipo and uh, um, fuck, um, that cool animated show that was yeah, on Netflix. Is the, that what you're the talking one about? that we watched together? That um, I do not remember what that was called. Um. Fuck. Is poking the table helping? Your yes, memory? it is. It is. Let me see if that helps me. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, shit. I don't remember what it was called. The podcasting one. Oh, oh, that's not the show that I was thinking of. Oh, I thought, really? I thought you were talking about the anthology show that was like different animated shorts. That that fucking thing on Netflix was amazing. The one where, where oh, like they opened the love freezer. Love, sex, and robots. Love, sex, robots. Yeah, was amazing. that um, was good. We've been watching no, that one too. Uh, the the Midnight Gospel, the, the Duncan Trussell, Gospel. the Duncan Trussell show. That yes. show is fantastic. Midnight Gospel was awesome. The, Loved it. The mom episode, the final one, just had Dude, me in tears. Yeah. I know it did. When yeah. I saw that shit, I was like, oh damn. No, it had me in tears. Like their <laughs> yeah. relationship is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Um, uh, my my favorite binges because I've also seen too many shows too many times are the X Files, mm -hmm. uh, Rick and Morty, uh, Letter Kenny, Brooklyn Nine Nine. I also love. Recently, we re re rewatched that twice over. Like, um, Family Guy, American Dad, South Park, all yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. Those are like givens. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Dude, when is um 
Fuck. What was one of the ones you just said? Oh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. I want them to come out with new episodes with a new season. I can't well, wait. Falls right around the corner, and that's yeah. when all the new shows start coming out. Fall and winter. Yeah, it's gonna be weird for him to do like a shop about a uh, shop, a show about cops. That's where that mess up came from. Uh, now like, that's very true. I didn't even think about that. About like funny. Go- <gasps> Whoa! Hey, it stopped right before it got to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that I'm was so amazing. Sorry. No, you're good. Uh, but it, like they're just like funny nice guy cops too. Like it's gonna be like. A little weird how they handle that if they do. But come they back. even do have an episode where Terry Crews gets stopped in his own neighborhood. Yeah, you know, yeah. like they do address and, it. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm sure. That, I'm not saying they couldn't do it. I'm just saying it's gonna be. There's probably gonna be people who are like, "Why the fuck would you do that?" I mean, yeah, but then also like it's been going on for a while now. Yeah. Like, did you watch the show before all this shit happened? Then shut up, basically. Yeah. And like. I don't know. It, it that's like, are we gonna get rid of like Law and Order SVU? You know, like no, people are, love fucking cop dramas too I much. Mean, yeah, and I mean, I don't really like the Law and Order shit. Like that shit kind of bores me. But Brooklyn Nine Nine was awesome because it was funny. Like they just and there there's more comedy in it than it is like serious. And like I understand why like Cops got canceled now. You know, like yeah. that's not a show that's on anymore. Like I get that. You know, but like or uh, what was the live PD? Yeah, yeah that is that gone did. now? I don't know, but I'm sure they're gonna yeah. come for it. Yeah. So, do you think most jurors can be impartial when presiding over a celebrity's trial? No, no, no. That was a loaded question. Yeah, yeah. What's harder today than it was yesterday? <laughs> my yes, dick. my penis. <laughs> yes, for sure. That was definitely yep. the first thing that I thought about, but I was trying to actually think of something like Yeah, me legit. too. But uh yeah, um what was harder today than it was yesterday? <laughs> I mean, I go back and forth, but usually, like, my life has gotten a little bit gradually easier the longer I'm alive, and I'm sure, like, eventually I get old enough where things will start to hurt and everything sucks, and then it'll go back downhill, but, like, I'm, things are getting better now. Like, I don't know yeah. what that's talking about. <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer that one. Well, that's fine. Um, Do you have an answer? No. Cause Your dick? I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's either that or, because for, for me, it's very, like... It's not even day to day. Things get harder. It's like minute by minute. Like yeah. things will get harder or easier just depending on like the literal like minute. Like it can literally like flip like that. So that's me. That's yeah. my mental illness. Um, But what I want to know is what was your worst brain fart moment ever? Right now when you can't think of anything. Ooh, that was a good one. Well, a brain fart to me is more like when when you say the complete wrong thing when you meant the other thing, and I do that constantly, Con- all like the time. all yeah. So <laughs> I, I can't really think of a specific example because all of them. Yeah, yeah. sterile. <laughs> that it's sterile, right? Sterile, sterile. I'm just saying it like sterile. Say it. Yeah, sterile. Sterile. Yeah, that's yeah. a sterile needle you got there. Well, because you would say sterilized. So sterile. 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 Mm. Sterile. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't remember what it is. Sterile. Sterile. P is sterile. Yeah. <laughs> My. Something happened today that was a brain fart. What I would feel like is. I went to the grocery store, got groceries, and got forty dollars out, and then left the forty dollars in the fucking self checkout yeah. thing. Went back. Luckily, some good Samaritan out there gave it to the cashier. Yeah, that like stands there with the self checkout things. So I was like, hey, by chance did somebody did somebody give you forty dollars from like number four checkout? And she's like, yeah. And she like opens up the receipt. And she's like, what did you buy? And I like told her I was like, diapers, wipes, Coke fucking mint chocolate chip ice cream she's like oh, okay yeah, here you go i was like oh thank god yeah yeah that was a brain fart moment because i got like almost all the way home and it was like i forgot the money <laughs> yeah yeah uh, crystal uh, does that a lot i've done it a few times yeah yeah i have multiple brain farts a day um <laughs> your, your brain is gassy i have a gassy brain <laughs> what was your blessing in disguise 
my blessing in the skies was having a second kid. Yeah? Yeah. Because uh, that was a real panic moment at first when we found out. It's kind of like, oh, no, this is hard, and we're not, like, quite ready for this, and we didn't... We weren't quite ready for the second one. Like, we hadn't decided that we were we were going to have a second kid yet. But, yeah, Ollie's awesome. And like, Yeah, dude. We had him alone today um, when we were dropping him off at um, my wife's co-worker's house to watch him while we were doing our date. Um, so, like, we drove him there, and he was just hilarious the whole time. Like, he's so <laughs> funny and cute. And, like, he's smart. Like, he's a really intelligent three-year-old. Hell, yeah. And every dude. parent says that, but, like... He just surprises me all the time where I'm like, I didn't know you knew that, like, or that you could put that together in your head. So, yeah, I, having the second kid was a blessing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, blessing in disguise, though. I don't know. It's in the skies. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Because, hmm. like, my blessings are like my, like my child, my wife. And, like, the things that I have, you know, and I've gotten over the years. But it's not in disguise, though. I would say maybe for you that your life decisions that you have made that made you feel like you needed to change. Yeah. Where you got to the point was kind of the blessing. Because, like, if you hadn't gotten to a certain point and then met her and then gone through what you guys did... Like, all that stuff was rough, but that's kind of the blessing in disguise because that's what pushed you guys to be here now. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, the shit that's happened in my life before that sucked in, you know, the time, but I've learned a lot and I've been able to apply that shit to my life and it has made me a better person and it's also helped me make better decisions throughout my life. So it sucks that I went through those things, but it was kind of a blessing because now I'm a better person than I am today. Yeah. What keeps you interested in your goals or dreams? My kid, my wife, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, my kid, my wife, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I have to be focused on things or I lose my mind. So if I'm not doing something, then I I can't be alone with my thoughts. So that's what keeps me active. Hmm. Yeah, I don't do well when I'm just sitting around. What do you consider to be irresponsible? Mm, a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Spending too much money, drinking too much beer, staying up too late, not getting up early enough. So being like, excessive. Being excessive, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem in my life, yeah. too. I yep. also think parents who put their kids on leashes are irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> that's just my own axe to grind, though. I that's think... hilarious. One time I got lost in Disney World, so I'm putting my kid on a leash. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. You know what I told the lady? I said, she said, what's your mom look like? I said, she's pretty. (laughs) (laughs) So innocent. So sweet. So dumb. That's not going to help. That's not any description words. I've never been to to Disney World or Disneyland. We're going to have to go to Disney World. Yeah. But it's funny that you both have and you both have stories from, from there. Yeah. Like you have getting lost and <laughs> we all know got, your story. You got punked. <laughs> <laughs> Ashton Cougar came out and smacked the fuck out of him. It was like, you just got punked, bitch. Yeah. That uh, episode didn't air though. Cause yeah. Did it not? No. Oh, you're a punked I you episode? Made up for our podcast. I was like, I oh put that God. out. <laughs> Anyways. I'm in a, I'm in a weird mood tonight. If you achieved all your life's goals, how would you feel? Accomplished? I would still want to do more. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that, like, I. there's so many things I want to fucking do in my life that, like, I w- if I had the means of doing it, I could spend a lifetime constantly doing new shit. I don't, I don't ever think I'm, like, going to be perfect at any of the things that I, I do. So, like, what do you mean by achieve my goal? Like, there's always a, a next level you could take it to. Well, like, I want to go skydiving. That's yeah. one goal that, you know, I want to achieve. Or I want to go to, like, audio engineering school. Like, well, you, you can achieve that. Well, you could skydiving, and that could be, like, your goal that you accomplished. But there's always, like, you could go skydiving a hundred times and be yeah. a professional in it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think is your greatest contribution to society? This. This is my greatest contribution to society. I is thought this you were going to be like podcast right here. I thought you were going to be oh. like this face. Oh. No, no, the podcast is our greatest contribution. I see, to you society. surprised me. Yeah, yeah. 
I was legit thought you were gonna just point to yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, no, <laughs> no, the podcast. Mine is um my sense of humor. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. The world but, would be missing out mm-hmm. without these jokes. What about you, Wes? I really don't have an answer for this. Like, uh, what do people like about me? A lot of things. Mm-hmm. Okay, those. <laughs> <laughs> do we even name some of them off? No, you don't have to stroke me like that. It's all good. Okay, he will. <laughs> I know he true. will. That's why I'm saying this he doesn't true. have to. <laughs> uh, do you think beauty pageants are degrading to women or harmless? Degrading. I think it depends on the beauty pageant. Uh, I don't approve of child beauty pageants at all. I think even if the kids are completely unharmed and safe and want to do it themselves, it still lends to a creepy mentality among certain people in society. Yep. And then uh, when it comes to adults, it's like, do what you want. I mean, I get it, but I also like... Like, beauty pageants have a certain... um, like. They are gross. Style that they're looking for. Yeah. And like, okay, if we're talking about, like, Miss America, like, you gotta be, like, a certain, like, weight and height and shit like that. Like, you have to be what is quote-unquote in society, which has gotten a lot better nowadays, but, like, in society, the, like, quote-unquote skinny model, like, that's gonna be your, like, Miss America or something like that. And then they have their own separate like beauty pageant for like plus size women you know and like that's where i'm like no the beauty pageant should be like open if you're going to do something like that where everybody would be you know accepted it should be inclusive but it also that's not the issue for me it's more like like i agree that they like expect you to be a certain way but it's not the looking a certain way for me it's the you expect like they're expected to act a certain way, to present themselves a certain way, and to to speak a certain way, to have a certain type of um, response when it comes to to questions and you know what do you want? You know, world peace. Like it's that yeah, whole thing. Yeah. And I know it's not like it's not that exaggerated, but like it, but it it's is like you There's can't literally videos out there. Like you of think that. that that Miss America can smoke weed? No, no that's no. what I'm saying. Like that's my issue. Like. And I don't know about degrading because, like, I think that, yeah, I agree child beauty pageants are... Eh. That's what I thought of when I said that yeah. was degrading. Now, when it comes to adult, like... like the fact that if you different. don't have a flipper, which I don't know if you guys know what a flipper is, but it's, like, fake teeth that you put in because little girls, yeah. little little kids, they lose their teeth just like any other little kid. Like, it's a normal fucking thing. But, like, if you don't have your fake teeth in and you're missing a tooth, like, you will not win that pageant most no, of the time. Like, no. 99.9% of the time, you're not going to win that pageant because you're missing a tooth. Because they want you to be perfect. But that's fucked up. You should be, like, I like, there are natural beauty pageants, and those are pretty cool. Like, if, if that's what your kid wants to do, if our daughter comes to us one day and says, this is what I'm interested in, okay, fine. You know, and if, if she's gotten to the age where, like, she says, I just I just like to do this. It's not because I feel I have to look this way. It's just because it's fun to dress up like in a dress yeah. or to do whatever to show off my talent. Cool. Right. Even the categories in like traditional beauty pageants are gross. Like there's the swimsuit. Swimsuit yeah. or like even the talent. Like this is exaggerated, obviously, but it's always the girl who did jumping jacks and had the biggest tits that wins the fucking <laughs> talent <laughs> section. It's like she just did jumping jacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm like, it seems a little degrading to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I also watch porn, too. <laughs> you know, what, what What can I really say here? Um, What words do you always struggle to spell correctly? If I'm writing them, I'm pretty good at handwriting words. Like, I don't misspell a lot of things. I'm actually really good at spelling. Me, um, too. But when I'm typing, I, I just can't type correctly. Like, I struggle with it. I always spell definitely wrong. You spell it defiantly? I th- mm. That's the most common. Hold on. Let me see if I can spell it. Definitely. So D E F I N I T L E Y. Definitely. I think it's E L Y. Yeah. It is E L Y. What did I say? You said T L E Y. Or no. Wait. What did he say? T L. Definitely. Yeah, you flip the L and the E at the end. Yeah. Definite. 
Eh. Lee. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah. T E L Y. Okay. See, I have, I have problem spelling it. It's yeah. fine. What about you guys? Oh, you're good spellers. Okay, fuck off. Next yeah. question. Uh, would I'm you rather dyslexic. be a a news anchor, a weatherman slash woman, or an on location reporter? Anchor man. On location reporter. I'll sit at that fucking desk and just read a prompter. A prompter. That's I, cool with me. I want to be where the action's at. Yeah. That seems cool. I kind of want to be a weather woman because, like, and over here. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I would be good at that. People get mad at you when the weather's bad, though. Yeah. No. Like, Fuck you, them. You predicted it wrong. <laughs> like. I saw a meme and it was like, you know, shit gets serious when uh, Mexico takes off their sexy um women to tell the weather and they bring in like a short dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, you know, she gets serious when that's the case. <laughs> like, we want you to actually pay attention to the weather. It's not just sh- sunny and, you know, it's going to be a good day. That's when you can stare at the ass. But when there's a hurricane coming, we're getting the, the real guy out and you're really going to pay attention to the weather. Did you see like the Weather Channel report on the, the two hurricanes that were converging on Florida? The I, It was a few days ago, but there was uh, Crystal even like texted me about it. She was like, did you see this? They were calling it unsurvivable. Like, they were telling people, get the fuck out. Like No shit. They were saying there was going to be storm surges that were unsurvivable was, like, how it was titled in the headline. I didn't read the whole article. I probably should have. But, like, she sent it to me, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, Holy shit. Yeah. Damn. Was that it? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. That's it? That was fast. We got through it. We've all been drinking. True. Well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you... Drinking. What the fuck? You well, think- actually, I only, I'm only halfway through one beer. Like, I don't know what really? happened in that. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to drink that when I get home. <laughs> We're finishing a little early, so I can, yeah, I can just get true. smashed and wake up a little hungover tomorrow. Know, it's just a little weird. I don't know. I You're feel not like... drinking a lot? That but... concerns me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm, sure? I'm trying to just give my, my organs a break. <laughs> you know, like... Is your check liver light on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what my mom would always say. Dude. She yeah. doesn't drink anymore. I mean, like, water running shits today. Just yeah. like, you turn the faucet on. That's the type of shits that I had today. It was horrible. Was it because of the Chipotle? I think so. Yeah. Because it was like, <laughs> I had that Chipotle, and then after that, I was like, I went to go fart, and was like, nope, that's not a fart. And got up real quick. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> I was that's get... part of the reason why I left the $40 at the Kroger, too, because I, like, went to go and kind of push out a fart, and was like, nope, that's not a fart. No, don't do that. And nope. I was like, I need to get home. I need to go. <laughs> don't oh. trust a fart, especially if you've been drinking the night before. Yeah, yeah. for sure. We can I... drink a whole fucking six-pack. And if you've had Chipotle. Like, that's a whole nother, like, math problem you just added to the fucking equation. Right? Yeah. Chipotle um, away. That's what I was going to actually bring up. Like, <laughs> yeah. you guys remember the South Park episode? <laughs> yeah. That episode always pissed me off because they call it Chipotle away in the episode instead of saying Chipotle away, which sounds better. Yeah, way yeah. better. Yeah. Way better. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> um, so make sure to follow us on Facebook, Blue Skies from the Basement. Follow us on Instagram at Blue Skies Pod. Follow us on Squid on Squitter. On Twitter. <laughs> follow us on Squidward. <laughs> at Blue Skies Pod. Also, you can email us at Blue Skies Podcast at gmail.com. Were the lyrics Squidward take the wheel? Or <laughs> what was it? Squidward on a chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. You can uh, at, join our Discord. Join the Discord. Definitely. Um, You can also text or leave a voicemail at 614. 614- 600 2056. I'm always trying to do these when I'm like beer burping. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> You're just like, running through the burps. <laughs> I'm trying. Mm, 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 mm. Um, we can make a do- 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 <laughs> 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 There was one of those. There was one of those. <laughs> we can make <laughs> it a tradition. For you to do the the ads like uh, your Rick for Rick and Morty. Yes, yeah. I really do have to get drunk though. Like, yeah. and I'll do it for sure. Okay, we should we should oh, preset geez. one. I'll get oh, really geez. fucked up. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> 
Do you even? You're the best you, one on the app. Did you, on the, on the did whole you do show. that on purpose? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's <laughs> funny without even trying. To. Like we should quit and just put the mic in front of her. Like, because <laughs> we were talking about Rick and Morty, but Morty is always time like, oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh jeez, Rick! I don't really know. I, I, I don't know, I, Rick. I've only watched that show with you, so true. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Morty. <laughs> exactly. Okay, where was I at? Uh, you can buy some of our merch at tpublic dot com backslash blue skies from the basement or bsftb. I'm still. I gotta figure out what the fuck that issue is. Like everything looks right in there. I'm gonna email T Public. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. So but. I'll just put a link somewhere where you guys can easily find it, and that link takes you to the full store page instead of the partial one that you get when you Google it. I don't yeah. know why that is. It's weird. Yeah. Whatever. Anyways, um, I think that's it right there. Yeah. Oh, you uh, can follow me on Instagram, my personal account, at blueskiesguy1. You can follow Wes at savagedad underscore Wes. And you can follow my wife, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful over here, with uh, honesty is a, is a liar. Yeah. Yeah. Honesty is a liar. So follow us on all, all on our personal Instagrams. Kind of get a little bit of a, a see through into our own personal lives and shit. And uh, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Blue oh, Skies Pod. Hey, please donate to the show. Yep. Yes. That'd be great. Because then I won't have to eat ramen every day for work. Don't really lie. Been, you, I was going to say, you've really been eating ramen? Fuck no. <laughs> Let's see. You know the last time we bought ramen? I don't know. Tuesday? I just like it, so I still buy it. Yeah. yeah. Tuesday we had Condados. Oh, yeah. Condados then, is great. And then Wednesday we had... um. Ohio pizza, and then wait. That's the finger tapping of the mouth that you just did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, because I feel like you had Ohio. I, you I, had Ohio, Ohio pizza. I can't, I can't talk. Keep going. No, no, no. I need you to remind me. When did I have it? Uh, two days ago. So Thursday. Yeah. So Wednesday we had Condados. What did I eat Tuesday? What did you have for breakfast? No, didn't have breakfast. I yeah. didn't have breakfast. I woke up at one o'clock, dude. What Tuesday did you have? Tuesday was the day after we got back. Yeah. So what did I have for lunch that night? Stick around to the next episode to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that. We're we're done. Cliffhanger. I <laughs> Find out on next week's episode of Blue Skies from the Basement. And that's how it's done. Hey! <laughs> All right, everybody. Later. Peace. Peace.